All right, hey guys, welcome back to the 2023 RV Dealer Open House here in Elkhart, Indiana. I'm Mike Caudill, brand ambassador, and we are now on to our second stop of the day. Pretty pumped up to be back with the team at A-Liner. Um, Chuck is joining me. How are you? I am well, my friend. Doing um, what is going on? This is green. It is green. We got the green machine. Uh, we got a lot of new stuff here to show at Elkhart this year, and this particular unit is going to be our 40th anniversary. A-Liner selling their, celebrating their uh, 40th year in business uh, next year. We incorporated in 1984, and I think we're probably one of the longer-standing independent companies in the industry. What I love is when I, we walked up earlier, you were like, "Check out Greeny," and then your president was like, "Check out Greeny," and it's like, I, I think what's awesome is that. You know, RVing is about personality. It's about yep. showing off who you are, and like, there's no mistaking when you walk into the A-liner area that you guys are different and you're yeah. unique. And that's it. This morning, we're featuring a lot of the smaller travel trailers, and I think what you guys have is pretty awesome. Now, we wanted to start at Greeny because Greeny is cool and it represents 40 years of awesomeness. But we are going to walk over and spend some quality time. So. We're going to walk over and check out one of their newest units. There's some really cool technology happening uh, with another partner that we're talking about in the industry as far as batteries go. So, Chuck, let's take a walk over yep. here. And um, as we think about our way down to this next unit, tell me about the little one right here, the Escape. Yeah, so the Escape is our version of a teardrop travel trailer. And we introduced it uh, you know, previous to COVID, and we, we were unable to build them for a couple years. But we've reintroduced them. We've upgraded the interior in this particular unit. Uh, this one actually has a 200 watt flexible solar panel on top and a five kilowatt hour uh, lithium ion battery. So you can camp off grid with this and run air conditioning and everything. It's all about ease and that's what I love. Like look, boom, inside, done, sitting down just that fast. Yeah. Uh, and I love how easy the A-liners are on the inside. It's just so efficient, maximizing space, super lightweight but it comes with everything that you get in larger travel trailers. It absolutely does. This has got everything from furnace, water heater, air conditioning, um, dual propane tanks, cassette toilet. Uh, the nice thing about this teardrop versus the other teardrops on the market, teardrop trailers on the market is we drop this floor in the back, which gives you a six foot four interior height. Let's Mo find out. Let's find out. It's there, <laughs> most, six foot four, and I'm right on it. Yeah, most of I, the, I grew an inch. Mo most <laughs> of the teardrop drops in the industry you can't stand up if you're over six feet tall so that that's one of the differentiating factors for escape too and you've done that not just with your 40th anniversary edition and the uh escape but if we go inside this new rig right here yes i mean you want to talk about some cool technology we're going to go up inside here and we're going to show you guys what's all what's going on inside um Let's start as Tracy's making her way and talk about the exterior, just kind of run everybody through it if they're not familiar with the sure. brand. Absolutely, so A-Liner is a hard wall folding camper, basically. This unit sets up and down in less than two minutes. Uh, it's all manual, but it's spring assisted. The dormers fold first, uh, side walls come down, your roof panels fold last, and it's literally a two minute operation. Um, on this unit, it's another A-Liner amp. So anything that has the amp name associated with it's gonna have the solar panels and the lithium battery. This A-Liner has 800 watts of solar panels on top. You got 400 on the front and back, uh, and you got the same 5kW battery in here. So this air conditioner with the sun like we have today would probably run that AC off the battery for 10 to 12 hours. Wow, so maximum efficiency when it comes to truly getting off the grid. Yes. Um, tell us about your customer. Are they, sure. are they pulling into regular campgrounds? Are they going off grid? Our customers go across the board. We've got people who spend most of their time in campgrounds, and we've also got people like the high altitude campers, they call themselves out in Colorado. They go up into the mountains, get to 10,000 feet. They send us pictures all the time of their A-liners covered in two feet of snow, but uh, we got everybody from campgrounds to dragging them to Alaska. Um, last year I showed this, and it's the coolest thing. You guys know what this is right here? It's a shower. You got a drape that comes all around you. This is your shower. I think it's so awesome, right? So you talk about taking a small unit like this and you open it all up i mean there's so much space on the inside of this and i think that's what's amazing is that you built it from the ground up to give consumers a whole ton of space i could easily live comfortably in here and do do a weekend or a week trip up into the mountains yep. not just with my wife but with my two kids as well because we have the functionality 
We have bed up front. We have a bed bed up front. I'm like, which way? Which way? <laughs> front, bed up back. front. Bed in the rear. Yep. Um, and then you know, throw a tent outside. Like you have so much functional space in here. Yeah. It's really choosing what it is you want to do. Um, talk a little bit about the size and the weight on this. Like, what sure. are we towing this with a full size truck? Are we towing it with a Subaru Outback? Yeah, that's the beauty of the A liner in general. We, our range of weight starts at 1,200 pounds and maxes out at about 2,500 pounds. So, towable by everything from a Subaru Outback or even a Honda CRV all the way up to your midsize uh, minivans, SUVs, crossover vehicles. And that's really what we focus on is the lighter weight tow vehicles. Uh, and then, again, you get a, more than an ample amount of space in here, but keep it as light as possible. If I pulled into a campground, am I thinking full hookups? Am I thinking no hookups? Yeah. Where, what, do, how do I prepare to, to utilize the functional, you know, opportunity with an A-liner? Yeah, we've got everything from electric only units that are basically your campground units where you're going to plug in, you know, you've got shore power for your air conditioner and your lights and all that kind of stuff. And then we've got fully functional units in the middle with full propane systems that uh, you can be off grid because you're running your fridge off propane or uh, using your small solar panel to run your low draw 12 volt stuff. And then now with the addition of the amp, we've got stuff you can go totally boondock and be uh, out for days, if not weeks, depending on how much air conditioning you want to run. Without the AC, this battery would run this camper off grid for almost an unlimited amount of time, weeks if you wanted to. And, and lightweight nature of an A-liner, what are, what are we, the materials made out of on the inside of this? Start right with the top and let's talk, because you said some of your buyers are camping in these in the snow. That means yeah. you've got to have some amount of insulation with these. We do. So our exterior walls are a three-layer lamination. Uh, the lower body below the hinge is a fiberglass exterior with foam core insulation in the center. And below the hinge, we use Luon still. We have a thin layer of wood because we like to screw our cabinets into wood that gives us the best hold because these cabinets can be a little structural around the doors. Um, above the hinge, that interior layer changes to Asdell Composite, which also does add a couple values of uh, insulation factor. So very well insulated. Having the hard walls contains your air conditioning or heat, whatever you're running. Uh, but in general, very lightweight construction, but still very, very warm. Chuck doesn't know this yet, but we're gonna we're only gonna cover two of these, and we're gonna go walk and look at some others. I'm gonna force him into it. Let's do one more. And uh, I, I'm doing it because in the industry right now, you're seeing a lot of people getting into the world of overlanding, right? So you see the aggressive tires on this right here. These aggressive tires, suspension, they're meant to keep it higher off the ground for when you want to get off grid. Um, so that's something to take into consideration as well. You look at this one over here. You've got street tires on it. Um, but I, I want to take it to the next level for fun, so I'm going to make y'all come with me. We're going to do this for fun. We're going to come around over here. We're going to look at the evolution. And I'm, I'm doing this on purpose because I want you to see the rugged nature, right? So you, you've got this uh, white exterior, which in many ways just kind of feels a little bit more pedestrian. Yep. And then you come to this and you're like, wait, hold on a second. This has got such a rugged look and feel. So when you come inside on this one, you're going to see a much different layout. And... Um, this layout is awesome. So uh, you want to talk about functionality. Same platform, but now you've got a different layout for where you're going to sleep. So you could have one on this side, one on this side, and I'm going to guess you can join them together. You absolutely can. Yeah, we uh, actually have a lot of customers who, talking about demographics, tend to be on the, on the verge of retirement, empty nesters who are hitting the road and being more mobile. They probably have owned larger RVs in the past but are kind of downsizing now. But as they get older, they don't want to have to climb over each other to get in and out of the bed. So that's what this twin bed idea is. Uh, this gives you a north-south bed instead of east and west. You can create a king-size bed basically by filling in the center area, but gives you options. Awesome. Uh, I do want to talk about technology as well. Small unit, tons of technology. USB charging, there's four of them right here. And if you're like me, I've got my phone, maybe another phone. I've got an iPad. My kids have phones, they have iPads, they're older. Uh, my wife has an iPad or a Nook, and then she's got her phone. It's like, where do you plug all this stuff in? Well, instead of just going the easy route and putting one charging area in here, they've given you four spots. So you have plenty of space uh, to charge all of your devices. And then you want to talk about easy functionality. I go in and out of RVs because um, I love to cook outside and I love to grill. So the functional space on this right? You're easy in, easy out. You've got your toilet over here, which is awesome. But I wanted to point the windows out, and I didn't do that in the last one. I just wanted, like, if you're in Yosemite, Yellowstone, you're camping, 
you know, along Old Hickory Lake in Tennessee, you want to be able to see the water. You want to be able to see the mountains. And they utilize the A-frame space so that you can see more from inside. And I love that feature. Now, Chuck, what is one like this way? It should be about the same, right? Pretty close. That amp is a little bit heavier just because of the lithium battery and uh, a few extra features in there, but this one's right around 2,400 pounds. So you're, give, you're given choice, right? You want to go the electric route, you can go the electric route, you want to go the Tris LP? Yep. Yep. Yeah, this has got full uh, plumbing water systems and LP, so this was a three-way refrigerator. you got your traditional LP stove. Uh, your water heater in here still runs off gas, which is a tankless on-demand water heater. Um, and then, of course, you need the water heater for your shower, which, quick sidebar on that, this actually came from one of our customers. They had bought an Expedition, which is our same size cabin as this, and they, they retrofitted their unit with this shower. So this was actually a customer idea of ours. They called or sent us a picture, and then we said, called and said, where'd you get that? And uh, next thing you know, we're, we're putting them in a bunch of units, too. What's going to happen is people are going to say, these are really awesome. What yep. do they cost, right? So if you were yep. to give us your most base entry level, what are we looking at? Yeah, so with the introduction of the higher end units with the lithium, that lithium package is a, you know, a higher end option. But starting on the low end with our Scout Lite, our retail price range is anywhere from 15000 to about 45000 Wow. So $15,000 to take yourself off grid, have a good yep. time, yep. and you can tow it with probably your vehicle in your driveway. Very affordable. That unit comes in at about 1,300 pounds. So, wow. Yeah, very wow. Light. Chuck, thank you so much, thank man. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you yep. walking us through. Hey, guys, we're going to be coming back to you here again at the uh, 2023 RV Dealer Open House here in Elkhart. Uh, the sun is still out. We know there might be some impending rain, but we're going to do it no matter what. We're going to bring you the news. We're excited to be here. We're going to hang out a little bit more with the team at A-Liner, and then we're going to be bringing more video content to you here in a bit. All right, stay tuned, everyone.